What's going on everyone? Dean Giorizzo here with Tag & Brag on behalf of 4th Arrow Camera Arms and today we're talking about something very important and that's being a more efficient self-filming bow hunter and we're going to talk about how to pack your bag in order to do that. So as hunters we already have a lot of gear. Throw self-filming into it and it over doubles everything. So packing your bag when you go into the woods is so important because we need to be as efficient as we can when we're getting in the tree and out of the tree or in the blind and out. Another reason why it's so important to know how to pack your bag correctly because a lot of times when we're getting in and out, it's in the dark. So you already have a disadvantage trying to do this in the dark. General rule of thumb when we're packing our bag is the first thing that we need out of the bag is the last thing that we put in the bag. Vice versa, if we need it out last, it's gonna go in the bag first, it's gonna be on the bottom. So when we take everything out in order, it just comes out smoothly. You don't have to rip four things out of your bag to get to something that you needed first on the bottom. We got the new 3.0 shoulder and base and the third arm from 4th Arrow. We got our fluid head, our main camera. We always run two second angles, two GoPro Hero 8s. We got extra batteries for our camera. We got our wireless mics, external batteries to charge, and then we got SD cards. We usually need our main camera last. So when we're packing it, first I wanna show you, we just throw a camo t-shirt or a nice stocking head around it just to keep it protected because usually it's going in the bottom of the bag. Now with this particular bag, we got three compartments. The main one, which is the biggest, we have a second middle one and then a front pouch. And usually we put all of our cameras in the middle pouch. We have enough room to do it in the middle pouch. This is gonna go first in the middle pouch, then we pack one of our GoPros along with the extra second angle mounts that we have to go with it. So that's gonna go in with the main camera in the second pouch here. Since the cameras are gonna be the last thing that we set up, it's, it's nice to know that they're all in one pouch. You don't have to go digging through your bag to find them. We do usually leave out one GoPro because when we're carrying in the outreach arm, we usually put a GoPro in it. We can use it as a selfie stick and then easily throw it in the top of our bag when we're climbing up into the tree. So next we'll pack the hardware, the, the bulk of what's in our bag. It's gonna be your base, your shoulder, your tree arm, and your fluid head. So usually these big pouches, they have like a divider in them, and we like to put the arm and your base in the back of that divider, and then your fluid head is gonna go right next to your shoulder in the front of that divider. As soon as you get in the tree, you open up your main compartment in the book bag. I know exactly where to reach in the back of the divider for the base. Right in front of it is your shoulder. Grab out your tree arm, throw it on, and then you can put your fluid head right on top. That's all in one compartment. You don't have to go messing around. Your tree arm is completely set, opening up the main compartment of your book bag. I know all packs are different, but this is a very important tip here, is when you're packing your batteries, when you're going in the woods, they're probably all gonna be charged, or they should be. So we always put our charged batteries in this front pouch right here. These are good batteries. As we film when we're in the woods, if we run through a battery, it'll be taken out of the camera, and we have another pouch right here in the back that we put our, our dead batteries in. This is really important, and we've learned this the hard way, but when you're in the woods, when it's crunch time, and your camera's running low on batteries, you, you don't wanna be digging through the same pouch full of batteries that are mixed with dead ones and fully charged ones, hoping you get a good one to throw it in the camera. So we always keep our good ones separate from our dead batteries. Now the front pouch of the bag that always has a few extra little, you know, individual pockets inside of it, we use this for all of our miscellaneous gear, stuff that we might not necessarily need as soon as we set up, but it's always important to have. We'll bring an extra charger for a GoPro, a battery charger, you can charge your phone, um, all your POV cameras can be charged right there on that battery. We'll throw in a card book maybe with some extra SD cards, our wireless mic case, uh, maybe with some extra cords that we might need in there. Um, I also usually keep like my hunting license and just a couple essential miscellaneous items are gonna go in your front pouch there. The only thing that's left out of the bag here is our outreach arm and like I said, an extra GoPro camera. This is so we have a camera out, a POV camera we can use to film vlog style when we're going in and out of the woods. And as soon as you get to the tree, we can either just open up the back compartment and stick this right out of the top. You can throw your GoPro in your pocket and it's easy to climb up and down the tree. So we got our whole book bag packed with all of our camera gear. Some people ask, what about all your hunting gear? What we do when we're going in and out is try to pack as much hunting gear on ourselves as we can. And we don't take in a ton, but we'll have our binoculars on, maybe a grunt call in a pocket, 
cell phone, maybe a bleed call, and maybe a bottle of scent if that's what we're using. Maybe the only thing we'll put in here is a range finder. Still can throw that in a pocket, but safety harness, everything is on us when we're walking in the woods and our book bags are primarily used for all of our camera equipment. And we pack this whole bag, we still have a couple extra pockets where we can throw a bottle of water, maybe a sandwich for lunch, a couple miscellaneous items that we might need to go into the field with us. At this point, we've been doing this for many years. Uh, we've messed up a ton and we've certainly learned how important it is to be efficient when we're getting in and out of the woods when we're by ourselves. So packing the bag has been so important for us to get in and out of the tree efficiently, along with, like I said, getting in and out in the dark. You need to know where everything is so that you can set it up safely and set it up accurately so that you can spend the least amount of time making noise setting up your hunting equipment. If anybody has any questions, leave us a comment below. We'd be happy to answer them. This setup and this gear has drastically helped us improve our self-filming capabilities. And if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, go to fourtharrow.com and check it out for yourself. <laughs>